Kevin Watson, first team manager, first full season. Um, I did join last season. And, and tell us a little bit about yourself and um, how you got into football. Obviously, you know, you, you ex pro and stuff. Um, yeah, let, we'll find out a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I played, um, obviously, played from a young age, um, played locally, um, joined Cholton at young age, came through their youth system. Um, didn't progress in, in the game that far. Um, went to university, Bath University, uh, on a football scholarship. Um, we had some successful times, several prom promotions, and um, good run in the FA Cup, getting to the first round proper. Um, when I came back to, to London, I started playing non league, played for several clubs uh, Chelmsford, Welling, uh, most notes to be. Um, Folkestone, Concord, VCD, ended up at Chatham. Um, the manager the manager resigned at Chatham. I was asked to take over at the time, I was about 30. Um, so it started as a player manager. Difficult to pick yourself, probably weren't good enough anyway. Um, done that for about four seasons or so, enjoyed it, decided it was it was time to leave, came out of the game for a little while um, and then the opportunity arose to come and manage at Cray Valley and it was one that I felt uh, was, was too good to turn down. Did you always see yourself when you were playing that you wanted to become a manager? I did, yeah, I always um, saw myself as, as a bit of a student of the game um, and as I got slightly older, I was looking at managers and, and trying to assess them and, and take the best from them um, and, and what made me tick as a player. And I just felt to myself that um, when I look back at my career, the, the, the highs and the successes and the enjoyable moments were, were very much, um, not so much through the club, if you like, it was more about the manager. So I felt if I could give that opportunity and experience to, to other players, um, then maybe I can have an impact on their careers and their lives. Is there any particular manager that you learn from or, 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 or even now bring up for advice? Two, two stand to mind, Paul Tisdale, um, MK Don's manager, he was the manager at um, Team Bath. Um, it was the first step in his managerial career, but what I took from him was um, the fine details. The fine details are really important for players and, and feedback. Um, Neil Cugley at, at Folkestone, who I still speak to quite a lot, um, it was more about the man management side of things with, with him. So absolutely, there, and then there was some that I won't mention, but maybe... Um, not I had less respect for, but I didn't necessarily agree with their morals, etc. So I try to sort of discard that from from what I do in my role. What do you? What is the biggest challenge being a manager? Biggest challenge. Um, at this level with this team, it's the it's the pressure. It's the pressure of having to win every game. Um, I think there's a challenge of working with, with individuals um, and then buying into your philosophy and, and getting the right people in and, in and amongst you. Um, with my management team, I've got Tommy Osborne, Kevin James, Craig Gibson, Courtney Dobson, and, and they're great. And I think it's really difficult for managers to get people around you where if you was absent, things would run um, to the level you, you would expect. Uh, what type of manager are you? Are you a Fergie's like, hair dry treatment or are you... Bit more calm and no, r rarely. Um, I think Kevin James plays that role quite well, um, and, and we all complement each other. I think Tom Osborne is, is the voice of reason. Um, I'm one that just sit back a little bit and just try to assess sort of um, people's motives and, and, and where where they're at and how we can improve performance. I think I'm um, I think I'm quite constructive. Um, yes, I can get angry at times. I only ever really get angry if I feel there's there's a lack of effort um, or, or people aren't carrying out the, the sort of tactical side of things. Um, maybe if players are being selfish, I was definitely selfish as a player at times, and it's not a trait I want to see in my players because I don't. I felt it held me back. Um, so yeah, I, I can play different roles as and when needed. 
In regards to the cup competition, obviously you're doing quite well in the league, um, so you're looking for a promotion. Do you find the cup is a hindrance, or do you think it's a welcome break? No, I think they I think they go hand in hand. Success in both competitions has served us well. I think there's a certain buoyancy around the club. Um, I don't think it has hindered the league in, in any which way. I think players are playing for shirts, so the competitiveness and they want to play in the big games. First and foremost, the, the league was our objective. It's extremely tough at this level. Only one gets promoted, so to actually go and win a league, we, we've only lost four games and drawn four games, and we're sitting in third position now. Um, so that's a really tough challenge with no playoffs, etc. I think there should be playoffs at this level. There are in, in, in the levels above. Um, but no, the cup, cup competition, I've always said that's for the players. That's their opportunity. I'm, I'm judged less on the cup, if I'm honest. I'm judged more on the league. Um, so, yeah, it's their opportunity to, to play on a big stage. So you've got your two-legged um, semi-final against Canterbury. Tell us a little bit about the opposition. They're in your league. Um, what, what's their strength? Um, they're very resilient, very strong, experienced. Good side. Um, their league position doesn't do them justice with the side they've got at the moment. I think if they had the side they had at the moment for the majority of the campaign, they'd be far better placed in the league. Um, look, they're, they're there on merit as we are. Um, all four teams left in this competition are there for a reason, so it's going to be extremely tough opposition. Is there any particular player that stands out for Canterbury? Um, I wouldn't say one player, just as with us, there's not one player. I think collectively they're very strong. Um, the boy Grant that does well up, up front and scores goals. Goalkeepers experience, centre halves are strong. Uh, midfielders are creative. So, yeah, they've got several elements about their game. We know enough about them and they know enough about us. Um, but from our perspective, it's to concentrate on ourselves. We can only affect our own performance to a certain extent and then affect theirs through our own performance. So, um, the, the focus will be on us. And um, just before we go, do you have any final message for fans and um, that are watching and support the club? No, just to enjoy the journey really and, and I'll reiterate there's, there's lots of work, I'm sitting here in front of the camera now and, and Waltz has had the same and Liz gets a lot of publicity but look, it's, it's a squad game and behind the scenes, players will come and go but behind the scenes the committee and the officials and the people that work tirelessly and, and um, the, the players' families etc. I, I think these moments are for them as much as anyone else.